This video is going to be on frog tape. I've got the multi-surface frog tape. I have the delicate surface frog tape. And I've got three different types of 3M blue tape, painter's tape. Um, none of them have the edge lock. I don't believe the blue tape has the edge lock. The frog tape comes in a container and they want you to store it in here. The reason is that when you have a roll like this, you end up getting dust on the edges and when that's on the wall, it could cause problems with uh, getting a straight line for painting. So that is the reason behind this container and why it's a little bit more expensive. It's also got this thing, uh, what do they call it, edge lock? Or I don't even know what they call it. They, they, yeah, paint block, paint block. 3M has edge lock, uh, frog tape has paint block. And it's supposed to be something inside the tape that when you put the tape on the wall, the minute the latex paint, this does not work with oil paint, it only works with latex. When the latex paint hits the edge of the tape, I'm going to use this as an example, hits the edge of the tape, it activates the chemical that's inside the tape and seals the tape down harder against the wall and stops leakage. Oh, that's a great word, leakage. Stops leakage and then uh, you should be able to get a straight line out of this. Now. The ratings on the internet are really good for the delicate surface, which is made for wallpaper and fo uh, faux finishes, fresh paint, uh, paint that's dried for 24 hours. Um, this is made for paint that's been on there longer and also for textured surfaces. But both of these should work on textured surfaces. What they say for a textured surface is that you, you might want to use a putty knife to press down and get a better seal or use your finger and press harder against the tape to make sure it seals well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this out. Let's go use... I'm going to do this vertically and horizontally. So, so I've got the three tapes on. What they want you to do with the uh, frog tape is they don't want you to take this and pull it out and pull it across a room because as you do that you stretch the tape and you could cause some leakage when you are painting. So they, they don't really want you to take this thing and you'd really yank on it for 10 or 20 feet. I don't really see why that matters because you are pulling on it anyway. The one thing I can tell right off is this tape is extremely thin, very thin. Now what you were supposed to do with painter's tape is after you put on the tape after you put on the paint you're supposed to pull the tape off most people make the mistake of letting the tape dry I mean the paint dry and then they pull off the tape and you're not supposed to do that well so now that I've done that let's uh, smooth this thing down because that's what they said to do and let's follow the rules and I don't want to go overboard with this because the average person is not going to spend a lot of time doing this. I'm going to be using a one inch brush and ultra pure white satin enamel. I really don't want to dip, I don't want to brush off the paint but I don't want to make a mess either so what I'm going to do is paint that with as little paint as I can put on there. And then I will pull the tape off. Here we go. I'm going to be... I'll try to pull this tape off. Remember you want to do this you want to do this while the paint is wet. So let's see how this 3M worked for a clean line. I have to say I'm very impressed. So that we can really see high definite. Oh, that looks nice and clean. Wow. That's a very crisp line. I can see that with my not so great vision. That is a beautifully clean line, but I'm going to zoom in on this stuff after I take off the tape and wash the paint off of my hands. I took this off the tripod so I could get as close as possible. I, you can see it with the camera, but I looked with a magnifier before I started recording, and this is the narrow blue tape you can see over here. A little bit of leakage. 
two little drops over there. So if this was going across a wall and you really couldn't see it, if it was out of the way, it might be okay. That could have a lot to do with maybe I just didn't press down the tape 100% properly. Um, over here, I can't, okay, I can see it over here. Same thing. Kind of leaked over there a little bit. Two little drops. And over here, you can see it right over, right over, where was it? Right over there. So, I'll let you decide. So that is the, uh, this is the really wide blue tape. Not bad. It's the narrower type tape, and this is the really small, skinny roll of tape. You can see it's got problems. It definitely has problems. Okay, now here's the expensive frog tape. I don't even remember which one was green and yellow, but look at that line. Getting a lot of shadow from the light over here, which I don't want. But look at that. Look how clean that line is. I'm looking at the bottom of that line now. And here's the other one. Look how clean that line is. Well, let's go look at it in the other position here. Got some light shadow there. You can see, you can see the, the bold thickness. You can see that almost a, a thick line where the layer of paint is put on there. Look how... Look how thick that is. You can see it's a very clean line. And we've got the same thing over here. So, is the frog tape worth it? It's only, it's not cheap, it's definitely not cheap, but it is definitely worth it. If you were, if you're spending the time to paint, buy the best roller cages, buy some good rollers, it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run get decent brushes it's going to cost you more money but the quality if you're going to spend the time to do the paint job do it right or why waste your time doing it at all and same thing with this stuff yes it is worth the money i will be using it hopefully this video helped you uh i don't really see too many videos online talking about it. i saw videos showing how to put the tape on and how to take it off, but I didn't see many comparison videos of these uh, two tapes. So, yes, it is a good product, and again, please go to my channel page, click on the support button, and help me out here. All right, hopefully uh, this helped you. Happy painting!